All right, it's Greg here. Uh, another another BIM screencast. Before I close up shop for the day, I just wanted to make a little addendum to something that I posted back in episode 14. Uh, back in episode 14, I showed you Scalpel, a plugin that I made to make it really easy to cut out a word and replace it with something else. Uh, and I think in that one, although I can't be sure because I didn't actually rewatch it, I think in that one, I mentioned my dissatisfaction with the fact that because I'm using the substitute command under the covers, there's this status message that gets printed at the end and that I can't repress. And that kind of sucks because I'm doing all the replacements starting at the current line in the file. And then I'm doing the remaining replacements from the top of the file back down to where we started. Which means you might see two status messages along the way. And that kind of sucks. So I figured out how to suppress that message. And I'm so delighted that I just wanted to demo it in a screencast. And so let's do that. Um, just to showcase what I'm talking about, I'm going to show you the, the message that I want to suppress. I'm going to replace the word import with an uppercase version of itself. Um, if you watch the preceding screencast, you'll know that I could actually do that with backslash u or backslash shift u as well. So I'm going to do that because it's good to practice things, uh, get them cemented in the brain. Um, and I'm going to confirm each match so that you can see this happening as it goes. So stepping through um, and getting to the end of the file, and you see there that it says down the bottom of the screen, seven substitutions on seven lines. That's the message I wanted to, su to suppress. And so the latest version of Scalpel can do exactly that. And so as before, you just activate Scalpel on the word currently under the cursor with leader E, you type in the replacement, which incidentally, because it's using a, a regular expression, I can use the backslash shift U or any other regular expression trick I want in the command line there too. And once again, it's going to let me step through. And at the end, ta-da, no status message. I'm probably disproportionately excited about that. I'm too excited. Um, but yeah, if you want to check it out, that's the screencast where I was uh, lamenting the, the thing. And you can find Scalpel on GitHub. I just cut a new release of it this morning over breakfast. So go and get it while it's hot. And thanks for listening.